Well, people in the already snow-weary Northeast must be wondering, when is this going to end? Well, the massive winter storm is now being blamed for at least 15 deaths. And New York's governor called up the National Guard on Tuesday to help dig Oswego out from under 12 feet of snow. But get this, some of those troops didn't get there until today because of this latest snowstorm. And if you've been watching, of course, you know Jim Cantori live in Oswego, New York. And Jim, 100 inches of snow already on the ground. And now it looks like those winds are trying to pick up some of that snow and what we call a ground blizzard might be going on there. Yeah, guys, you know, I don't think this is actually the snow that's coming down because the band has moved to our south. I'll show you that on Sky Tracker in just a second. Let's, let's first walk over here a little bit. I want to show you this kind of crusty snow. You can see what the wind has done. And, and Paul and Alexandra, you know when you go to the top of a mountain and you see wind-packed snow, uh, what it looks like in through here. And I mean, this remember, this was just like Arctic lake effect fluffy snow. Ratios of 30 to 1. But when the wind gets to it, it can really pack it down. So we got a couple of inches that carved some nice little uh, holes on through it. And of course, some of the neatest designs you've ever seen come uh, from the wind rolling its way through the snow. We're going to back up a little bit here. I want to hold this kestrel up, maybe get an idea of what kind of wind we're dealing with. Even though we don't have the snow, Paul, like you mentioned, falling down from the sky, uh, it is blowing from what has fallen earlier. There's probably a little bit of snow, but you'll notice winds here, certainly anywhere from 15 to 25 miles an hour occasionally. And remember, folks, there's a little bit of an error here as a result of the fact that there's a, that snow or almost like crystal structure snow hitting a little fan instrument that's being uh, rotated to give us an actual estimate of the wind. But these are great instruments. I love them. And uh, I got to thank Kestrel certainly for giving these. And the, and the gentleman who came from Charlotte tonight out here and brought me this thing because mine was stolen from my bag. All right, Sky Tracker, let's take a look at this band, which I am going to tell you right now as a, a driver in the snow for many years in Vermont, I'm going to see how this is going as we head out here tonight. We're supposed to drive back to Syracuse, but if that band is just too intense, we're going to come back to Oswego and spend the night in through here. We'll keep an eye on it for you, but heavy snow, Fulton all the way over into Saratoga. Who's impact, or excuse me, Syracuse. Who's impacted? Interstate 81 and 481, the main routes that we have to travel to get back. We'll definitely uh, definitely not take our chances with this one. All right, we, we spent the day here, as we mentioned, uh, after our morning live shots in Syracuse up here in Oswego. And Alex, you talked about it, 100 inches. The governor said, "Here's the, here you go. Here's the Army National Guard for some help to get it out of here. Here's what their day was like in Oswego. The wind was whipping and the lake effect snow moved back in, creating whiteout conditions. And with temperatures in the low teens and wind chills around minus 20, being outside is dangerous, to say the least. It's pretty brutal. It's very cold. Uh, it's very windy. Uh, that, that, that puts uh, a big effect, especially with drifting snow, but uh, we can handle it. But that's exactly where the New York State Army National Guard was Thursday, along with the Oswego Public Works crews. The National Guard is going to help remove snow in the, the areas of the hospitals, fire barns, schools, uh, major intersections, that type of thing with a payloader. And that is top of mind for the Oswego Fire Department. Visibility is important, especially pulling out of the front here where our trucks and ambulances pull out of you. You know, it's you coming out. You know, the guys are careful, but you still have to be able to see. And oh, we're very proud to be here. I mean, it's our state. Uh, we we uh, we always enjoy coming up here, upstate, and to uh, uh, lend a hand when we can. And the help is needed. Oswego crews have been working 24/7 since February 4th and the endless blowing and drifting snow is not helping. This relentless effort is keeping roads passable. It is what it is, so you know, we just continue to fight the snow and uh, look forward to the summer. And summer is great here, especially at the lake. That's one of the main reasons for all this mess. As the Oswego motto goes, it's where the water never ends. But for now, it seems neither does the snow. Oh, boy, you got that right. And here we're outside the uh, H. Lee White Marine Museum tonight, and we want to thank these folks for letting us set up here. Again, we're right in the eastern shores of the lake, folks. We're taking full lickings. The wind is coming across the lake with nothing to stop it. We're standing out for, uh, outside a historic tugboat here, just kind of reading about uh, this thing's role in the D-Day inversion. And this little tugboat shot down a uh, German aircraft, and it's uh, sitting out here tonight, obviously taking a beating from Mother Nature. And when you think about what it had to deal with uh, back in World War II, Things obviously were a whole heck of a lot worse for not only the boat, but also the many people standing out inside of it. Speaking of people standing out inside of it, Alex and Paul, I got to hand it to my crew tonight. They're out here braving it just like me. You don't see them. They're behind the camera. I got a guy holding the light. I got a girl holding the cable. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, I got a guy holding the camera. They're, they're the ones that do the jobs out here and make us look good. And uh, 
my hat's off to him. I appreciate it, guys. I just want to give you a personal note of thanks for, for taking one for the team. Some nasty weather out here, folks. We bring it to you because we want to show you just how bad it is to certainly be out driving in it. I'm telling you personally, we're not going to take the risk if it's that bad. We're going to come back to Oswego. But uh, whew, after 16 years of doing this in the field, this is some of the worst weather I've been in, certainly for the wintertime. Back to you. All right, thanks. That's Jim Cantori and crew. Definitely taking one from the storm. Be safe out there, Jim. Great job tonight. Kind of battling through all that wind and that cold. Absolutely. He said in all his years, it's really never been as cold in blizzard conditions. So unbelievable. We certainly are. Hats off to you and your crew, Jim. Go beyond the forecast with Abrams and Bettis. Weeknights at 8 Eastern. Now, you're local on the 8s.